on the 7th of October 1996, I was a victim of a brutal knife attack. I had a knock on the door on a Monday night when two guys came in, I opened the door to them, they came in and stabbed me over 20 odd times. Once they'd finished stabbing me in my head, back, chest and legs, they calmly stopped and walked away and carried on with their lives. For me, at the time, it was the beginning of a very, very long journey. After the attack, I was off work for some time, so it was a matter of weeks. Once the wounds start to heal, you then have to start dealing with the, the shock of the whole event. The wounds were very painful at the time. It was more the mental health side of things that I had to struggle with. Sense of surplus to requirements, you feel that sense of loneliness when you're in this situation. He's horrendous and he's far worse than 20 odd stab wounds. I'd happily exchange the stabbing again now for the depression. Some people have spotted some changes, some hadn't. There was an event that happened around my wife's work colleagues where eventually my wife said to me, you've got a very serious problem, you need to go and get help. I took this on board but actually did nothing with it at first and it took a long, long time for me to phone and make an appointment with a doctor. Eventually I plucked up the courage and phoned the doctor, made the appointment. It's a massive weight off my shoulders to actually go and speak to someone that would gonna understand and help me get better to where I needed to be. Once I got myself recovered, uh, I would come off of the tablets. I've been off the tablets for some time. I needed a new challenge in life and then I discovered Hilti and this is where my life changed massively. Hilti gave me a work-life balance. They put things back in perspective for me that I could go and work, I could pay my bills and still have a life. It prompted me to write this book and get my message out there. I wanted to tell people that what had happened to me, there is light at the end of the tunnel. But the good news was I was in a job, I was in a position that gave me that opportunity. Now, that's why the book's called Let's Skip to the Good Bits, because that's exactly what I've done. But where's been the biggest surprise for me was actually people that don't really know me and some of my work colleagues, some of the stories, people's own stories that have come back to me. And also where they've read my story, they've been inspired to go and get their own situation changed. And they've started the process of actually helping themselves to be better people. With one in four people suffering with mental health issues, it's very, very important that these people a herd. I've been very fortunate, I've come out at the end of a really dreadful experience which was depression or PTSD as some people diagnosed it with. My advice now to people is actually to reach out. You know, if you're struggling, please, please go and talk to someone. Reach out, ask for help. Whether it's a friend, it's a colleague, it's a family member, ask for help. Go and tell them you're struggling and maybe, just maybe, they may be able to help you. Those people that are not struggling, if you know someone's changed, ask them are they okay. When they say fine, ask again. I keep asking because one day they might just say no I'm not fine and actually I need some help and that saves lives that helps people and it stops them going down the road I went.